Hey, what's up, Facebook? My name's Chris Burfield, and I'm here with Alex Tesfe. He is the owner of Cigars and More here in McKinney, Texas, and I'm pretty new to smoking cigars. I've been coming to see you, what, maybe last three months or so? It's about three months, yeah. Yeah, about three or four months. Right. And uh, I was actually in Puerto Rico recently, and got some cigars down there and I was like, hey, I actually kind of like this. Right, <laughs> it right. was real good. So I, I heard about his store. I came here to uh, to check it out. And uh, Alex has been so generous and he has been just so, um, customer service is top notch, but he's been educating me on cigars from everything on how to smoke a cigar properly, how to cut them, uh, the different types of cigars that are out there. And uh, I thought I would just have him do a demo today for all of you to uh, especially for those of you that are beginner smokers or you know um, considering smoking cigars and do a demo of how to actually cut a cigar the right way so thanks for doing this man I appreciate oh no it. problem thank you thank you for coming Chris and uh, uh, I uh, met Chris uh, the first time probably about four or five months ago and uh, he came in and uh, uh, bought a, a, a good nice humidor and I, he, uh, you know, I told him what to do and uh, the proper way to uh, set up a cigar humidor and all that kind of stuff. So he, uh, uh, the, the next time I saw him after the humidor was, uh, you know, buying cigars and we were talking about uh, uh, a lot of different blend cigars and uh, 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 how to cut up, uh, cut light and uh, smoke cigars so uh, 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 thank you Chris yeah for sure and that, that humidor I bought is awesome and uh, Alex was explaining that you want to keep them between 65 and 75. between 65 and 75, 75. it's 75. always yeah the cigars will always be fine if you have that uh, the ideal temperature is usually 70 but if you get it between 65 to 75 the cigars will always be fine and fresh yeah and I didn't know that in the beginning because like I had uh, many many years ago I had bought uh, cigars and would you know just kind of store them like in my dresser drawer right and I remember them being kind of dried out and stuff like that because they obviously weren't being kept properly. Right, but w when you put a cigar in a, a closet or dresser, that is for temporary uh, 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 storing cigars, not for a long term. So, uh, for example, if you have uh, three or four cigars and planning those cigar, planning to smoke those cigars in about couple of weeks yeah you can put those cigars okay. in a closet or 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 uh, uh, or a dresser mm -hmm. the cigar will will be uh, stay staying fresh because they've been humidified in a humidor here at the store so they'll so hold that for a while the, the, the moisture will still be there gotcha but make sure that you smoke those cigars you know within like two, three weeks period. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they will lose their moisture as they get, uh, I, as they sit older in that right. in that area. Right. So. Well, why don't you show us like how to, uh, cause there's different ways to cut a cigar and I didn't realize this. I thought like, I thought it was really just this guillotine thing, um, which Alex will show. And I didn't know how much of the cigar to cut off. Like, right. You know, do you cut off an inch of it, just a little segment, so right. like, and then, but Alex was telling me there's lots of different ways to cut them. There's the punch hole. Um, there's a, a there is another cut. one. Yeah, the V cutter. V cutter. Right, right. So when you uh, first uh, 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 get a cigar, you know, uh, it's just a preference. There's the three or four different ways to cut. I mean, uh, uh, ways to cut your cigars, but. The most common one is the cutter, the traditional cutter like this. But yeah, some people prefer to put a hole on a cigar and some people prefer the V cutter, which is the same thing like the punch, you know, putting a hole on a cigar in a different yeah. shape. Okay. Okay. So uh, it's just a preference. How do you prefer to smoke them? I prefer to cut my cigar on a traditional cutter. Mm -hmm. The reason is, first of all, when I uh, smoke my cigar I want to get a bigger draw you know uh, uh, I, I want to get 
the taste of the cigar. Right. The downside of punching a cigar, putting a hole on a cigar or a V-cut cigar is usually you get more concentrated tar or nicotine in that a small hole than a bigger traditional cut cigars. Gotcha. So uh, what I wanted to show you is how to cut your cigar on a traditional cutter. Uh, the, you see, when this cigar made, this is made from one broad leaf, and if you can see Chris right here, there's a cap right uh, here. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. the cap attached to the other part of the cigar. If you, if you excuse me, let me answer that phone, <laughs> yeah, we'll get and the phone. I'll, I'll be back. Let's do in that in a second. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> so yeah, you were sorry saying. about that. So. Uh, like I was saying, you see this whole cigar rolled in one big leaf and attached to a cap right there. If you see the color difference between the lighter wrapper and the brown wrapper, there's a cap. Right. So the cap will attach the whole thing. So when you cut your cigars, if you cut it, you know, further down, halfway the cigar the whole thing will unravel because there's nothing holding the whole cigar okay i mean the whole wrapper right so what i always tell people how to cut their cigars is you know especially for beginners i will put my cutter on a flat surface like this and put the cigar in here and you hold it and when you hold it this is how much you're supposed to cut your cigars. See, I was doing that all wrong from the very beginning. What I was doing is I was taking this and I was shoving it in there about yeah about that far. No. <laughs> and then cutting that, that, off. that that is that is I mean I mean a lot of people do that. Yeah. But in most cases the whole cigar will unravel. I, that that was the problem I encountered right. a lot of times. Right. So you cut it right above the cap okay i mean you know if you if you can be able to see the cap you know on some cigars you clearly see the cap on that some cigars you might not see it because the, if it if it is the same uh kind of uh cigars for example if it is a lighter wrapper most likely you might not see the cap so what i will do is i will just hold the cigar like this and cut it so this is how much you need to cut the cigar. Awesome. So on a punch, all you have to do is just simple. You just get the punch and you hold the punch like this and push it in and twist it. Okay. And when you twist it, the, uh, the tobacco will get inside of the punch. I will show you how to do this. You push it and you twist it and the tobacco will pull out, get pulled out. Oh, yeah, and like this that. is a clean cut. This is a punch right here. This cigar is punched. So when you do that, does, um, like you said, does that prevent you from getting a good drag when you do that? Well, you're not gonna get... Like you would with a... Exactly, you're not gonna get a, a, a real good draw mm -hmm. as a traditional cutter does. So, I mean, like I said earlier, it's just a preference. Mm -hmm. You know, some people like to cut their cigars, some people mm -hmm. put a hole Before in we cigar. leave, I actually might buy one of these from you because I've never done that with my cigars. So okay. I'd like to try that. Sure, sure. Now, what cigar is this that you're holding? Okay, this is a cigar <clears throat> called My House Blend, and it is called the Double Wrapper, or a lot of people call it Barber Pole. So, as oh, you yeah. can see, it has two different wrappers on the cigar. So when you have a cigar like this, usually when you uh, light up this cigar, uh, you don't know what you're getting out of it. It will surprise you as you smoke it and flavor, oh, really? the flavor changes. It does. It's yeah. a great cigar. So this is a cigar made in, uh, in uh, Orlando by a Cuban family exclusive for the cigar shop. So this is uh, one of my... Uh, you carry that often? Uh, uh, yeah, 
Yeah. yeah. I've been carrying this cigar for the last probably three, four years, and I have a lot of people come from nothing but that cigar in the shop. Really? Well, yeah. So with uh, when you smoke that cigar, um, what's it like smoking that cigar? What kind of flavors? What well, this is the the blend is mild to a medium body. This is a cigar for everybody, really. Okay. For those people who smoke on a regular basis, I mean, considered connoisseurs, or for those people who never even smoked cigar before, this is a cigar that everybody smokes. Gotcha. Because you said you told me some cigars are kind of like after dinner type cigars. That's right. And then you've got other do uh, cigars that are more of a morning blend sort right. of thing. So this is something you can smoke any time you can, of day. You can smoke this any time of the day. You can smoke this with coffee. You can smoke this with cognac. You can smoke this uh, with wine, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So this is a kind of cigar that a lot of people smoke on everyday basis. I'm gonna pick up some of those for a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, awesome. Um, yeah. Anything else you wanna tell anybody? Any, any other so tips or advice? The other there? thing that I wanted to show you, Chris, is how to light up a cigar. Okay, so cool. I'll so, bring my lighter. Well, I was gonna say, why don't we, um, why don't we end this video here, and then you can look for the next video where Alex will show us how to actually properly light a cigar and smoke it. So um, tell everybody where you, where are you located specifically? What's your address? Okay, we're located in McKinney, Texas, in our uh, El Dorado and seventy five. Uh, we are in a shopping center called El Dorado Plaza. And uh, you know, there's a Trader Joe's, Pier One, Soul Grass, Sprint, Starbucks. Sprint, like Sprint. Right, right next to Sprint. Right? Starbucks is two doors down from the shop, and Sprint is right next door. And Christina Mexican Restaurant, which is a big uh, Tex Mex restaurant, two doors down from the shop. So there's a lot of uh, big name. Uh, stores in the, in the shopping center. Strongly recommend you guys come here. Come check out Alex, Cigars and More, McKinney. Come in here, ask for the house blend, and uh, if you don't have any of the equipment that you need to smoke the cigars, make sure you pick some of that up too. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one where Alex will demonstrate how to properly smoke a cigar.